Hi, my name is Claire and I'm an aspiring documentary filmmaker. I'm currently doing my honours degree in journalism at Rhodes University. Today I will be reviewing the emotionally conflicting documentary Mrs. F, directed by Chris van der Form. The film is set in Nigeria, with leading personality in the film being Mrs. F, who is a theatre director and activist whose main intention is to empower women in impoverished areas and in extremely patriarchal areas where women's rights are next to none. The documentary's focal point is on the specific project called Nisentunu in Makoko, a ghetto in Lagos that exists on the river. The project's purpose is to use theatre as a platform for women's voices to be heard, to express their pain, their anguish, the fear for their children, issues of marriage, and their aspirations. And through much negotiation that Mrs. F has um, with one of the Makoko kings, King Abraham, and giving gifts to the elders and compensation to the church, she has given their blessing to continue with the project. A wooden platform is built on the river for the woman to perform on, um, which did not come without its own sexist complications. Mrs. F builds up the courage of these Makoko women who will be performing and in a way therapizes them to do this extremely frightful thing of expressing how unequal that society is to many people who safeguard and reinstill these sexist beliefs. Now, I want to go back to the opening scene because this documentary is simultaneously inspiring and tragic in my opinion. Our introduction to Mrs. F is when she is doing a similarly empowering performance with other women in the marketplace. It is so inspiring, I got goosebumps all over my body, only for that optimism to be ripped away from me as an audience member when she is driving in the Uber and the Uber driver says to Mrs. F when she's speaking about the future um, for possible female leadership, I seriously doubt what you're trying to do will work out. I'm sorry to say that, which is what he said. Those words lingered with me throughout the remainder of the documentary because every man after that echoed the same sentiments. When it comes to these patriarchal values, they aren't, aren't opinions. It's historically reinforced oppression. These women being raped, being mentally abused, being murdered, femicide is so deeply rooted in ideology that it and it is made so apparent in this documentary as a South African woman this context of gender-based violence is unfortunately so relevant in our country you see how interconnected everything is in this documentary how interconnected patriarchy is violence capitalism religion Christianity is a major part of, of people's lives in Makoko and it is used as just another pillar to reaffirm and uphold the structure that oppresses women. A priest reads from the Bible a verse that says, Wives, submit your husbands unto the Lord. But the night everyone congregates and the women express their grievances in a theatrical manner, it's uplifting to see and empowering. But I was left wondering, is that enough to try infiltrate such an impenetrable system? Or am I being pessimistic? Is that exactly what the society needs? A foot in the door to ignite greater change. Nonetheless, the documentary was extremely informative on conditions in Nigeria and in specifically Makoko. I do critique that I feel the documentary maybe should have commented further on um, macro change that needs to happen politically to really see real change. Seeing the groundwork is phenomenal, but for a shift to be made in gender equality, there needs to be a shift in the economy and there needs to be a shift in the culture of violence that all feed into this patriarchy. And there needs to be a shift, as Mrs. F says, um, in leadership, new female leadership. To comment on the cinematography, it was exceptional. It was shot in a way that felt very personal 
And as if I, as the viewer, was there. In terms of how the film was directed, I think Chris van der Form did a great job at not creating an imagined narrative for the woman of Makoko, but rather just documenting their reality. And I felt the women were given agency that they deserve. Thank you for watching this review. I highly recommend this film to absolutely everyone.